Number 1. When playing Survival Endless, you can almost always improve your setup by placing ladders in columns 2, 3 and 4. This way imps will not damage your pumpkins, requiring you to constantly repair them. I will leave a link to a detailed guide on how to ladder in the description below. Number 2. The next time you see a Gigantra smashing down your pumpkin plant, try to remove the pumpkin shell of that plant to save it from the initial smash, since removing the pumpkin will cause the plant's hitbox to shrink down quite significantly. This is also used to prevent some bonus from running over your plants. Mission failed! We'll get them next time! Number 3. Now here's a good way to automatically increase the jack suppression of your build. Though it is not 100% jack proof, it is a very good way to decrease jacks as a threat. Number 4. If your setup is weak to ambush zombies, use the ice cream trick that kills them before they can even appear. You need to plant your coffee bean on top of your ice room between 4 to 7 seconds after the final wave message appears and you'll be greeted with no ambush. I'm joking! Stop! 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 Break! Stop! Number 5. Another cool thing you can do with an ice room is to counter off bungee zombies. Two gloom shrooms and an ice room will do the trick here. Number 6. If you want to optimize your plant downtime, try pause buffering your game. This will also provide some time to think if you ever find yourself in a tough spot. Number 7. If you're laddering your setup while some bonus are on the mix, use spike weeds to kill them off. However, if you play survival roof endless, spike weeds won't be an option. Instead, use chompers to eat some bonus whole to prevent them from crushing your ladders. Number 8. If you want to ensure that Jack doesn't blow up your defense, you need to use an ice room right when the Jacks get damaged from the gloom room to ensure your Jack suppression. <coughs> Number 9. The next time you're bringing in cannon photos for Gigantuous, use posh rooms and flower pots to store football zombies for double the time. Number 10. Tallnuts are not only good at dealing with dolphins, they can also be used to fend off mining zombies as well as catapult zombies. No! No, don't do it! No! No, don't do it! Number 11. Using Ice Room with one Glitch Room will guarantee kill a mining zombie before you can even take a bite. Number 12. When you have extra space left, try increasing the DPS of your build with Star Fruits. While not as strong as Gloom Shrooms, it provides you a bigger range. Number 13. Use Gatling Piece if you want to make a lane Zamboni resistant. The other lanes can use Squash plus Terry Bone for additional Zamboni protection. Number 14. The next time you play Endless, try incorporating Jalpenos in your setup. Jalpeno, Squash and Terry Bone can be used to imitate a Doom from Explosion. Just make sure that the lane you're using jalapenos in isn't laddered. Number 15. When playing survival day or night endless, try protecting your back row carp cannon with a split pea and a torch wood. Number 16. Fire off your carp cannons in the water once the sound of the final wave message disappears to instantly kill off ambush zombies. Number 17. 
If you place down your twin sunflower right when your other sun produces produces sun, the sun generation of both plants will synchronize up, meaning you can collect all the sun in just one cycle. Number 18. If you're not good with your ice cream cycles, use film shrooms to counteract Jack in a Box explosion zombies. Number 19. The next time you're playing Survival Day or Night Endless, consider using Cactus so you don't have to waste your sun and a seed slot on Blovis. Number 20. If you want to stall the wave as long as you can in Night Endless, keep a Greystone in the middle alive so you can keep a zombie as your pet. Number 21. If you for some reason really want to play with Repeater in Pool Endless, try to partner him up with Gatling Peace and Torchwoods. Number 22. When using a jalapeno, try to time it with your ice cream for maximum stall. Number 23. Don't be afraid to pick sun shrooms as cannon fodder in night levels, as they also generate you some sun. Number 24. Using potato mines against mining zombies can be a very effective strategy. <laughs> Number 25. If you're skilled enough, you can snap the imps thrown by the gigantuous from the air. Number 26. As shown before, you can ladder sleeping gloom shrooms so they're not killing the ladder zombies before they reach them. Number 27. If you play Lost Stand on mobile and you recycle the cattail, you lose the lily pad in the process. By placing down a pumpkin first, you make sure that you're left behind with a free lily pad. Number 28. When playing a setup that isn't completely bungee proof yet, always make sure to spam as many posh rooms or siege rooms as you can to decrease the chance of bungee stealing important plants. Number 29. Spamming a bungee zombie and I zombie a bunch of times on a regular sunflower will multiply the amount of sun you'd normally get. If you don't like to use macros, don't worry, pause buffering will also work here. Number 30. If you want to plant down doom prunes, but the Zamboni ice trails won't let you, there's two ways to deal with it. Either use a jalapeno right before your doom shroom, or constantly use bike <coughs> to that lane to keep it clear from any potential ice trails. Well, this pretty much wraps up today's 30 tips and tricks video in PVZ 2023. This video took a considerable amount of time to make, so I'd be happy if you guys could support this channel with a like or a subscription. And if not, I'd be happy to take any feedback from you in the comments below. With all of that out of the way, I wish you guys a beautiful day and take care.